Hello, I am guessing you are here because you just found out Elastic Load Balancer is too expensive and AWS Docs does not exactly help when, you t when trying to turn on SSL on single instance EC2. Well, by the end of this video you should have SSL and HTTP to HTTPS redirection on your single instance Elastic Beanstalk environment. So let's start now. So I'm going to be using an Elastic Beanstalk command line interface to deploy up, but you can use web console. So this is the application. It's a simple express app and if you are using eBCLI like me, you should have a local git repository. If you are not, just add the code to archive and upload, well, excluding node modules of course. First, let's initialize the Elastic Beanstalk application and create an environment to see if it works. From web console, go to Elastic Beanstalk. And choose Create Application. Give it a name. Choose your platform. And upload your code and don't use sample application because we will need to change to what port our app is listening to to make redirection work and click create application this will create your elastic beanstalk application and environment now if you are using ebcli make sure you have initialized git repository i will quickly initialize it I'll create a git ignore file and I will add node modules here. And make an initial commit. I will call initial. Now type init. This will guide us through step-by-step -step creation of Elastic Beanstalk application. I will go with Europe Central. So five. Here you can you, you can choose already created up. I will go with create new application. Leave it to default. And now uh, yes, it's correct. Oh, they have added Node.js 14 support. Nice. I will go with 12. Code co who needs a code comment? Oh, SSH. It's always good to have SSH access to your instances, but uh, you don't need it. For, so I will go with no. So application is created. Now we need to create an environment. For that, we type ib create. This will create environment. I will leave it to default. See name default. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose because we will disable it. So, classic. Okay, it's deployed now. Che let's check if it works now. Go to environments and choose our newly created environment. Use snuck. So it works. Now let's disable load balancer. Go to your environment. Go to configuration. And go to rolling updates and deployments first. Click edit. Scroll down to rolling update type and disable it. And click apply. This will restart environment, so it, it might take a while. Warning, confirm, and wait. Okay, now go to configuration again. And this time choose capacity. Choose edit. And change environment type to single instance. And click apply. Confirm. This will restart the environment and it will start up with without load balancer.
Okay, let's see if it has disabled load, load balancer. Load balancer tab is empty. Good. So it has disabled load balancer. Now we can start adding configuration files. Go to your applications root folder and create a new folder and call it .ib extensions. Inside that, create new file. I will call it openport.config. And in this file, copy and paste this code. Link will be in the description. Paste and save. So this code opens port 443. By the way, this can be done from web console too by modifying security groups. <clears throat> now let's create second second configuration file and call it certs.config. In here, copy and paste this code. Link will be in the description. So this code creates two files on the server, server.crt and server.key. This will be our this will be our certificate and private key files. Now we need to create a certificate for our domain. I'll be using default domain provided by Amazon. So this one. Copy this one and go to sslforfree.com. Here you have to register and then click new certificate. Type in your domain without slashes and HTTP. Click next. 90 day free one. We want free, free one. Input your, type in your info here. And next. Here you will have to verify your domain by changing your CNAME record. But I can't do that because I can't control Amazon's DNS. So after after you have verified, you can download your certificate and choose Jinx one or default doesn't actually matter. Now when you download, extract it, and inside you will see certificate files. So cert private key file, certificate file, and bundle file file. You won't need bundle file. Now we should copy its contents in our code. So open certificate in code editor. Copy this. You should keep safe this by the way. Copy this and copy it and paste it into a certificate placeholder. So here. Paste. And indent exactly as it was because this is a YAML file, so uh, indentation matters. And use spaces for indentation instead of tabs. VS Code uses spaces when you hit tab, so I'm good to go. Do the same for private key file. Open it in code editor. Copy and paste it at this placeholder and indent. Now we can save it. And we won't need this anymore. Now we need to configure Jinx. So in, a, in your application root folder, create a new folder and call it dot platform. platform. Inside that create folder named Jinx. And inside that, create a folder named conf.d. So platform jinx conf.d. Inside that, create a new file. And I will call it https.conf. Note that it is a conf file, not a config file, because this is a jinx configuration file. Now, if you are using Node.js, copy and paste this code here. Link will be in the description. Copy and paste. So if your application does not use Socket.io, remove this chunk. If it does, leave this edit 
and it will make Socket.io work on HTTPS too. Now, if you are not using Node.js, go to AWS Docs. Link will be in the description. Here, configuring your application to terminate HTTPS. Yeah, here you can choose your platform. So, as this will not work as it is now because this is for older Amazon Linux. Amazon, it's for Amazon Linux One, and currently Elastic Beanstalk uses Amazon Linux Two. So we need to modify it a little. So let's choose Go for example. So inside here if you see something like this, container commands, copy and paste it under your certs.config file. Right here. Oh, wait. Like this. And save. Uh, so scroll down and you will see something similar to this. Copy, the, copy it and paste it into your https.conf file. So after listen 443 you should add SSL. And comment out or remove SSL on this line. If you, and if you see up port, change it to the port your application is using. And do not use 80 or 8080 because we will need those to make redirection work. Use something like 8081. Now I will go back to Node.js code here. So what this code does, it listens to port 443 and encrypts the connection with the certificate we provided. So these files, certificate and private key files. So if we deploy our app now, it will have HTTPS enabled, but it won't have redirection. So let's create a redirection now. In our conf.d folder, create a new configuration file. I will call it redirects.conf. In here, we should copy and paste this code. If you are using Node.js, Link will be in the description, of course. Copy and paste. And if you are not using Node.js, go to this link. It will be in the description too. And here, choose your platform. I will go with GoLink. Inside here, we have a new folder. And we should mimic this folder structure. So inside our Jinx conf.d folder, we should make an Elastic Beanstalk folder. And inside that, create a new configuration file, like this one. And copy its content into your configuration file. And change, your, and change the port your app is listening to. And that should, that should do. Now let's see Docker too. So we have config file. Let's open it. So this is an Elastic Beanstalk configuration file. It will not do for us. But what this code should be doing, it should be creating new configuration file inside on the server inside etc jinx sites available folder so inside our jinx folder we should create sites available folder and inside that you sh we should create configuration file doesn't matter what you call it just make sure it ends with conf.conf copy this content and paste it into your configuration file uh, and indentation won't matter in that file because that's not a yum file that's jinx configuration file and i think that should do it now i have not checked every platform here but steps should be roughly the same and if it's not just comment and i'll try to help now back to our code so first it creates upstream server for your for our application so it knows where to direct these incoming requests and uh, the port should be the same as your app is listening to. Jinx by default listens to port 80. We have enabled 4432 and now we are listening to 8082 and all the incoming requests are going through here. This code just logs out errors or warnings and this here is where redirections happen. 
So first it checks if the incoming request is HTTPS. If it's not, it sets redirect to one. Then it checks if the incoming request from ELB health checker, so, uh, that's uh, AWS service. This thing here that checks your environment health. So if incoming request is from outside and it's not HTTPS, it redirects to HTTPS. And if it's from ELB health checker, it passes through. And this sets proxy pass to our application, uh, the one we defined right here. So all coming, all incoming requests end up at our application. And now we have to change to port our application listens to, to 8081. And note that I'm hard coding port instead of using environment variable. That's because if you use environment variable to set port, the redirection does not work anymore. So I'm hard coding 8081. And now if you are not using ebcli, add this code to archive and upload. Else git add git commit. I will call it add redirection. Now we deploy in our environment name. This will deploy our, our application with its configuration files. Now we wait. Okay, it's deployed. Now let's go, let's check if it worked. Go to environments. I will copy this URL and open it in incognito so it does not cache headers and note here it's HTTP and we go and and it says it's not secure because I'm using certificates for other domain if you have certificate for whatever domain you are using it will say secure okay that will be all hope it was helpful and you won't have to go through all the stuff all the stuff I had to to just to enable HTTPS on single instance EC2.